Guys, it's Jimmy Collector 321 here. I'm back with another DIY Halloween animatronic. Sorry for the lack of uploads. Just been I've been really busy lately and whatnot. So just get into it. So it's just some spider web to decorate it. And I'm gonna show you how it works again. So it's a ghost I made out of a bag. Pretty simple, just zip ties. And then a fishing line, and then this screws onto the motor, and the motor is zip tied to the piece of wood. And this piece of wood goes here, and the ghost kind of goes like, ding, ding, like that. And has a green light right there. And I just wired a base fan cord onto it again. This time I just gotta do some wire neatening, and then yeah, there's not really much I could say about it. I mean, oh, and the. Uh, Light it's plugged into a plug I put off the motor, and it's all just heat shrinked and then a cord. And I got these shaft couplers, they're really handy for projects like this. So, uh, plug her in. It's the wall, obviously. And now it's plugged in. Let's go take a look. It is kind of I don't know if y'all could even really tell, but it's actually moving it up and down a little bit. It's kind of tremoring. And if I help it up, it goes up. And it goes down. And then the light is just on a piece of wood that shines up. And wire, and then thing, and then this all dogs when it moves. Just runs off of one of these uh, metal reindeer motors. That's all it runs off of. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's just zip tied there. Nothing too special to see there. And um, yeah, it's gonna look great in my display. Just enough to spook people out. So yeah, Jimmy Collector 321 here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.